Okay, well, I'm second. Council, it's time having arrived for July 25th City Council meeting. Please stand and salute the flag. I pledge, I pledge allegiance to, the, to the, flag the flag of the United States, States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, nation under God, God indivisible, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Councils, please stay standing. We would uh, like to take a, a moment of silence for the former mayor and our former colleague uh, here in the City Council, both a warden and an at-large council, Linda Balzotti, whose mom, Elizabeth Betty Balzotti, passed away. Her wake is today, funeral tomorrow. Moment of silence, please. Our thoughts and praise with the Belzotti family. You Thank you, Councilors. Councilors, um, Council President Cruz uh, indicated at the last finance meeting, unfortunately, he's out of town. He has asked me to uh, stand in his place tonight. Uh, our Councilor at large, Shana Bonds, is actually in Philadelphia at the DNC. And I know Mr. Monaghan, our Ward 2 Councilor, is still, uh, uh, he just recently had a medical procedure done, so he's, he's trying to rehab right now. With that being said, uh, Mr. Mr. Clerk. We have the approval of the City Council meetings of June 27, 2016. Accepted and placed on file. Report of the Audience Committee for its meeting of July 12, 2016. Accepted and placed on file. Report of Public Safety Committee for its meeting of July 12, 2016. That too. Accepted and placed on file. Report of the Finance Committee for its meetings of July 18, 2016. Accepted and placed on file, Council. Communication from the Mayor advising that effective 3 p.m. June 20, 2016, Michelle Yaffe has been appointed as Interim Parking Clerk for the City of Brockton pursuant to Mass General Law, Chapter 41, Section 61A. Accepted and placed on file. From the Mayor, submitting the resignation letter of Andrea B uh, Burton from the Planning Board and the Parking Authority, effective June 30, 2016. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the Mayor, recommending an appropriation of $9,000 from unappropriate estimate receipts, ordinary revenue, fiscal 2017, to Council on Aging Personal Services other than overtime to allow the hiring of a full-time staff assistant for the final three quarters of the fiscal year. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. That to accepted and placed on file. Communication from the DPW commissioner requesting the acceptance of donations of used furniture from CDM Smith made to the Department of Public Works. Please note that said donations are items that were going to be discarded. That to accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the director of planning requesting the acceptance of a grant in the sum of $25,000 from the executive office of housing and economic development. Commonwealth Com Community Compact Grant Program to be used towards a neighborhood master plan for the Camp Pillow area. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor recommending the same. Also accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the director of planning and economic development stating that the city of Brockton has received a check in the amount of $8,668.98 from Brophy and Phillips to replace the existing swing set and slide climbing equipment at the Ashfield School. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor recommending the same. Also accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file, councilors. An audit amending chapter two of the revised audiences of the city of Brockton be ordained by the city of Brockton of the city of Brockton as follows. Chapter two, administration, article three, officers and employees, division two employee classification plan is hereby amended. In council, April 25th, 2016, ready to refer to the standing committee and ordinance. <clears throat> In council, June 27, 2016, council raise act motion to send back to finance, properly seconded. Motion carried by roll call vote, taken by yeas and nays. 11 present, six voting in affirmative. Councilor Bonds, Monahan, Stadinsky, and Sullivan voting in negative. Councilor Azak. Mr. President, um, I'd like to um, send this back, a motion to send this back to ordinance. Second. Second. <coughs> Question is on sending it back to ordinance. All in favor, please raise your hand. All opposed? Motion carries. Goes back to ordinance. Petition of Matt Bracken, 295 Washington Ave, Chelsea, Mass, for approval of a registration certificate to solicit and canvas. In Council, June 13, 2016, refer to the Committee on Public Safety. That report is favorable. Council, questions on uh, granting. All in favor, please raise your hand. All opposed. Motion carries. It's hereby granted. Order that the City Council approves the first addendum to the November 10, 2014 intermunicipal agreement with the Town of Abington, attached here to is Exhibit A, and authorizes the Mayor to execute any and all documents to effectuate the same. 
in Council June 27, 2016. For the Committee on Finance, that report is favorable. Council's question on adoption by roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, if you could please read the roll. Yes. Beauregard. Yes. Pioneering. Yes. Farwell. Yes. Lally. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stavinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. yes. Sullivan. yes. Order is hereby adopted, councillors. The City Council approves a request for an exemption from Article 3, Section 2 110 of revised ordinances. Such requests be attached hereto and made a part thereof. In Council June 27, 2016, referred Committee on Finance, that report is favorable. Passes questions on adoption by roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, if you could please read the roll. Yes. Beauregard. Yes. Pioneering. Yes. Farwell. Yes. Lally. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stavinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. yes. Sullivan. yes. Order is hereby adopted. In accordance with Mass General Laws, Chapter 44, and upon the recommendation of the Mayor, the City Council appropriates the sum of $142,000 from unappropriate estimate receipts, ordinary revenue, uh, fiscal 2017, to police department overtime. These funds are to be used to provide additional funding in the police overtime budget to ensure continuity of services in the months of August and September. In Council, June 27, 2016, for the Committee on Finance, that report is unfavorable. Questions on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, if you could please read the roll. Yes. Beauregard. Yes. Pioneering. Yes. Farwell. No. Lally. No. Rodriguez. Yes. Stavinsky. No. Sullivan. No. Four in the affirmative, four in the negative. Mr. President. Yeah. yeah I think there was a... I think there was some confusion exactly on uh, in how we were supposed to vote on this particular item. I think we need some clarification from our from legislative council. Yeah, please. Thank you, council. Yeah. The matter before the council was the question was on passage of the order. So the recommendation of the finance committee was simply a recommendation. It doesn't change the manner in which the matter is voted on in council. It's a non-binding recommendation. So. The matter was before the council for passage, so those that are in support of the order would vote in favor of it. Those that were against the order would vote against it. Okay. So, Mr. President, uh, I don't know exactly how we go about doing this. Is there any way we can ask for a revote on this particular thing since we now have this clarification? I'm going to take a, two, uh, a, a one minute recess. No, you're being Councils, we're back in. Due to the fact I think uh, we, we got some clarity from Legislative Council, uh, as Council President, I'm going to ask for a re-vote on that um, so that everyone is crystal clear now. The, the order is what was just read. If you vote yes, you support the order. If you vote no, you oppose the order. With that being said, a roll call vote is going to be read. Mr. Clerk, please read the roll. Ace half. Yes. Beauregard. No. Ionieri. No. Farwell. No. Lally. No. Rodriguez. No. Stadinsky. No. Sullivan. No. One in the affirmative, eight, seven in the negative. The order is not adopted. Right, Appropriation is not adopted. I'm sorry. In accordance with Mass General Laws, Chapter 44, upon the recommendation of the Mayor of the City Council, appropriates a sum of $60,000 from unappropriate estimate receipts, ordinary revenue, 2017, to Board of Health Personal Services other than overtime to provide funding for a vacant position of a sanitary inspector currently unfunded in the fiscal 2017 budget. In Council, June 27, 2016, refer the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Council's question on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, if you could please read the roll. Azak. Accused herself. Beauregard. 
Yes. Bainiri. Yes. Farwell. Yes. Valley. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Seven in the affirmative. Appropriation is hereby adopted, councils. Orders with Mayor's General Laws, Chapter 44, upon a recommendation of the Mayor, the City Council, appropriates the sum of $183,000, unappropriated estimate receipts, ordinary revenue, 2017 to police department personal services other than overtime to provide funding for two additional emergency telephone dispatchers to have language skills in Cape Verdean Creole and to ensure that the hiring of 13 additional police patrolmen can be carried out as planned. In council June 27, 2016, further committee on finance, that report is favorable as amended, a reduction of 53,000, change of the total amount to $130,000. Constance, the question is on the amendment. All in favor of the amendment? All opposed? The amendment carries. Question now is on adoption as amended by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, if you could kindly read the roll. Azar. Yes. Beauregard. Yes. Ioneri. Yes. Farwell. Yes. Lally. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Aid in the affirmative. Appropriation as amended is hereby adopted, Councilors. Ordered in accordance with Mass General Laws, Chapter 44, and upon the recommendation of the Mayor, City Council, appropriates a sum of $50,000 from unappropriated estimate receipts, ordinary revenue 2017, to DPW Engineering Personal Services other than overtime, $37,000, and DPW Maintenance Personal Services other than overtime, $13,000 to provide additional funding for a newly hired city engineer and to correct a calculation error on the salary chart for the maintenance division. In Council June 27, 2016, refer to the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable as amended and there's a reduction of $25,000. Questions on the amendment. All in favor of the amendment? All opposed? Amendment carries. Question is on adoption as amended by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please read the roll. Yes. Beauregard. Yes. Yes. Farwell. Yes. Lally. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Aid in the affirmative. Appropriation as amended is hereby adopted, Councilors. Right in accordance with Mass General Law, Chapter 44, and upon the recommendation of the Mayor, City Council, appropriates the sum of $12,000 from unappropriated estimate receipts, ordinary revenue, to fiscal 2017 to Traffic Commission Ordinary Maintenance Services to provide funding for the consulting engineering studies of several intersections. This was requested by the Commission in its budget request, but not funded in the Mayor's budget. In Council June 27, 2016, for the Committee on Finance, I report is favorable. Questions on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, if you could kindly read the roll. Azar. Yes. Beauregard. Yes. Ioneri. Yes. Farwell. Yes. Valley. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Aid in the affirmative. Appropriation is hereby adopted. In accordance with Mass General Laws, Chapter 44, and upon the recommendation of the Mayor, City Council appropriates a sum of $75,000 from unappropriate estimated receipts, ordinary revenue, fiscal 2017, to DPW Water Commission, Water Enterprise Fund, desalinization charges, to provide additional funding for up to 15 days of purchase of desalinated water during the summer of the full contractual amount. The water revenues are not sufficient to support this added purchase, but this funding by the general fund will allow the city to exercise a sustained full test of the system. In Council June 27, 2016, refer the Committee on Finance, that report is favorable. Mr. President. Council Fowell. Mr. President, I don't have any objection to this as yet. However, I am going to ask that we refer this back to FinCom. I'd like to get a definitive answer from our legislative council, who hopefully can speak with the law department about whether, in fact, we actually have to pay to prove that Aquaria is capable of pumping the gallons per day that's required. If the contractual agreement requires it, I certainly would not oppose it, but I just want to be clear on this. So Thank you, Mr. Fowler. Set like form to, of the motion. I move to send back to FinCom. Second. For Second. Evaluation. Motion made, properly seconded. Send back to finance. All in favor, please raise your hand. All opposed, motion carries. Send back to FinCom. Pursuant to provisions of Mass General Laws, Chapter 44, Section 53A, City Council authorizes the acceptance and expenditures of the total grant award in the amount of $1,276,000 from the Commonwealth of Mass, Mass Works Program, the City of Brockton Planning Department, Mass Works Program Grant Fund. 
These funds will fund roadway reconstruction and streetscape improvements along Center Street, including the installation of traffic signals at the intersection of Center Street and Montello Street. And this work also includes utility relocation and roadway resurfacing along West Railroad Avenue and Lincoln Street. These downtown improvements support the city's recent downtown redevelopment and proposed new developments. There is no required match. In Council June 27, 2016, uh, Recommend sent to the committee on finance. Report is favorable. Council, is the question is on adoption by roll call vote. Ms. Clerk, please read the roll. Azak. Yes. Beauregard. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Farwell. Yes. Valley. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Aiden, Order is hereby adopted. Pursuant to the provisions of Mass General Law, Chapter 44, Section 53A, the City Council authorized to accept its expenditures of a total grant award in the amount of $30,000 from the Commonwealth of Mass Community Compact Program, City of Brockton Planning Department Community Compact Program Fund, in order to plan the first step in securing funding for the Mass Schools Building Authority for critical building and rehabilitation projects in Council June 27, 2016. Refer the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Council's questions on adoption by roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, if you could kindly read the roll. Yes. Yes. Beauregard. Yes. Ioneary. Yes. Farwell. Yes. Fowler. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. yes. Sullivan. Yes. Council's order is hereby adopted. Pursuant to the provisions of Mass General Law, Chapter 44, Section 53A, the City Council authorized acceptance of expenditures of total grant award and the amount of $40,000 from the Mass Department of Environmental Protection Division of Municipal Services Grant to the City of Brockton Department of Public Works Division of Municipal Service Grant Fund. <clears throat> In Council, June 27, 2016, for the Committee on Finance, that report is favorable. Questions on adoption by roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please read the roll. Azak. Yes. Beauregard. Yes. Ioneary. Yes. Farwell. Yes. Valley. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Aiden, Orders hereby adopted. In accordance with Mass General, General Laws, Chapter 44, upon the recommendation of the Mayor's City Council, authorizes transfer of $10,000 from ambulance receipts, $10,000, to Fire Department OM Services Telephone, $10,000. In Council, June 27, 2016, for the Committee on Finance, that report is favorable. Questions on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please read the roll. Azak. Yes. Beauregard. Yes. Ioneary. Yes. Farwell. Yes. Alley. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Aiden, the Transfer is hereby adopted. Sum of $900,000 appropriated to pay costs to develop the municipal and school facilities master plan, including the payment of all costs incidental and related thereto, and to meet this appropriation, the city, with the approval of the mayor, to authorize to borrow said amount under percent to Mass General Laws, Chapter 44, and 7, Section 21, and 7 to 22 of the General Laws, or pursuant to any other enabling authority, and to issue bonds or notes of the city. Therefore, <clears throat> Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mr. Clerk. Further order that the city treasurer is authorized to file an application mm -hmm. for Commonwealth of Mass Municipal Finance Oversight Board, qualify under Chapter 44A of the General Laws, and any and all bonds or notes of the city authorized by this vote, and to provide such information and execute such documents as the Municipal Finance Oversight Board of the Commonwealth of Mass may require. End Council June 27, 2016. For the Committee on Finance, I report is favorable. Council, the questions on passage to a third reading. All in favor of passage to a third reading? All opposed, it's passed to a third reading. The first paragraph. <clears throat> that the sum of $6,600,000 is appropriate to pay costs designed and constructing sewer mains and related efforts, <clears throat> including the payment of all costs incidental related thereto, and to meet this appropriation, the city, with the approval of the mayor, is authorized to borrow a set amount under and pursuant to Mass General Laws, Chapter 44, Sections uh, 7, Paragraph 1, and or 8, Paragraph 15. Questions on passage to a third reading. Council's all in favor? All opposed? It's passed to a third reading. Loan order of $1,100,000 appropriate to pay costs designing, making sewer flow meter read improvements, including the payment of all costs incidental or related thereto. Meet this appropriation of the city with the approval of mayor is authorized to borrow set amounts pursuant to Mass General Law Chapter 44, 7, and 8, and 15, or pursuant to any other enabling authority to issue bonds or notes of the city, therefore. Questions passes to a third reading. Council is all in favor of passage to a third reading. All opposed? It's passed to a third reading. A loan order of $4 billion is appropriated to pay costs of 
making energy efficiency improvements to the city street lighting system, including associated design and engineering services, the conversion of standard lighting devices to LED devices, fixture upgrades, and the payment of all other costs incidentally related thereto. Questions passes to the third reading. All in favor passes to a third reading. All opposed, it's passed to a third reading, councils. Resolved to have the Registry of Deeds of Plymouth County, the Honorable John Buckley, our designee to inform City Council of the current situation of foreclosures in the City of Rockton and Council June 27, 2016. For the Committee on Finance, our report is favorable. Because this question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, if you could kindly read the roll. Yes. Beauregard. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Farmer. Yes. Pally. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stavinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. In the Resolve is hereby adopted. Resolved that the mayor is designated, the city, uh, the collector, treasurer, and the city solicitor are his designated be invited to appear before a committee of the city council to update council members on the status of the Whitman dispute and efforts to obtain payment. In council March 28, 2016, for the committee of finance, that report is postponed to the second finance meeting in May. Uh, in 7 18 16, favorable at FinCon. Questions on adoption by roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, if you could kindly read the roll. Asia. Yes. Beauregard. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Farwell. Yes. Valley. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stavinsky. Yes. Summer. Yes. Amy Resolve is here by adopted councils. Out of the city council affirms its approval of the downtown urban re renewal district and the downtown urban revitalization plan. For the finance committee. Mr. President. Oh, Councilor. Mr. President, if I could just ask the indulgence of my colleagues tonight. Uh, the state reviewed the urban renewal plan. And you may remember I inserted an amendment which said that every two years the plan and any reports generated would be reviewed by whomever sits as counselors and whomever is the mayor at that time. The state objects to that. Uh, I can't, I don't know why, but they sent a letter and they had several different issues with the plan as submitted and they asked that that be, actually they directed that that be taken out if we want the urban renewal plan to be uh, uh, successful, to be approved by the state. I talked to Laura Schaefer, the state official who reviews urban renewal plans. She assured me that we will still be able to vote on every appropriation that comes forward, on any land takings that might have to be done, and that the council and the mayor, even if it's 10 or 15 years from now, will have adequate control over the urban renewal plan, what's happening and whether it's successful. So having said that, and because I don't want my amendment to be an impediment to the progress of the plan, I'd like to move that we suspend the rules tonight and pass this uh, order, which simply takes out the amendment that I offered. Everything else remains the same. The only thing this would do would be to extract that language, which the state finds uh, improper for their purposes of approving an urban renewal plan. So the motion is to suspend the rules and approve this order tonight, and that's basically what this order will do. Motion's been put forward to the council. Is there a second on that motion? Second. Okay. Motion made properly second to uh, take this under suspension rules on acting this tonight. All in favor of that motion? All opposed, that motion carries. We'll take a, we'll take a final vote on this tonight. Um, matter now comes before us. Question is on uh, adoption by a roll call vote. Uh, Mr. Clerk, if you could kindly read the roll. Azak. Yes. Beauregard. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Farwell. Yes. Lally. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Aiden Order is hereby adopted. An order from any chapter 20 streets and sidewalks of revised ordinances of the city of Brockton enacting a complete street ordinance. That's referred to ordinance committee. An ordinance from any chapter four of the revised ordinances of the city of Brockton to comply with the Mass Green Communities Act be it ordained by the City Council as follows. Chapter 4, Buildings is hereby amended by adding the following new article, Article 5, Stretch Energy Code. That too, referred to Ordinance Committee. In order of amending Appendix C, Zoning of the Revised Ordinances of the City of Brockton to comply with the Mass Green Committees Act, be it ordained by the City Council of the City of Brockton as follows. Chapter 27, Article 13, Definitions, Section 27-61, generally is hereby amended. Constance, that's referred to both Ordinance Committee and Planning. Mm -hmm. Order that pursuant to the provisions of Mass General Laws, Chapter 44, Section 53A, City Council hereby authorizes the acceptance and expenditures of the donations from CDM Smith made to the Department of Public Works. The list of donated items is going to be discarded, 
list of items going to be discarded by CDM Smith. For the Finance Committee. Pursuant to the provisions of Mass General Law, Chapter 44, Section 53A, the City Council hereby authorizes the acceptance and expenditures of the don donations of $8,668.98 from Brophy and Phillips, City of Brockton Planning and Economic Development Department, to replace the existing swing set and slide climbing equipment at the Ashfield School. For the Finance Committee. Appropriation of $9,000 from unappropriate estimate receipts, ordinary revenue, fiscal 2017, Council on Asian Personal Services other than overtime, to allow the hiring of full-time staff assistant for the final three quarters of the fiscal year. For the Finance Committee. Appropriation of $25,000 from the Executive Office of Housing and Economic Development, Com Commonwealth Community Compact Grant Program, City of Brockton Planning and Economic Development, Commonwealth Community Compact Grant Fund. For the Finance Committee. Resolved that the Brockton City Council proposes lifting the cap of the, on the Commonwealth Charter Schools. For the Finance Committee. Resolved that the Mayor, Police Chief, Fire Chief, City Solicitor, Board of Health Director, and other relative city employees appear before the uh, Finance Committee to discuss the recent actions taken by the city to vacate 10th City on privately owned property. For the Finance Committee. Resolved that the city CFO and treasurer appear before the finance committee to discuss the practice and procedures of credit card authorization and usage by certain city employees. Referred to finance committee. Point of information councils 47 and 48 that would just refer to finance committee. The two resolves that I filed. I uh, welcome any colleagues that would like to sign on on those resolves. That being said, Ward 3, Dean, Council Dennis Ianeri. Thank you, Mr. President. I'd like to make a motion for a late file. Motion made and a late file. Do we have a second. Second. second? Motion made properly. Second. All in favor? All opposed? Motion carries. And the clerk has that. Clerk has it. Thank you, Council. An ordinance amending Chapter 27 of the revised ordinances of the City of Brockton be it ordained by the City Councils as follows. Chapter 27 of the revised ordinances of the City of Brockton is hereby amended by amending the zoning district map of the vicinity on the southerly side of Belmont Street. Said proposed change to be from C1 Neighborhood Commercial Zone to C2 General Commercial Zone. That's referred to Ordinance Committee and Planning. Councilors, is there anything else uh, before us tonight? Council Rodriguez. Mr. President, a moment of personal privilege. Absolutely. Um, I would like to invite my fellow colleagues, uh, members of the City Council and the community at large to, uh, to join us this weekend for the annual Cape Verdean Day Festival that will be held at the Arnone Field. Uh, this is the 22nd year that we're doing this and uh, uh, an invitation is out to you and also the community to come down and, and enjoy uh, and enjoy in this wonderful afternoon that we've been having in this city for the last 22 years. Thank you, sir. Council, what, what is the starting time? It's always- It starts at 2.30 and it ends around 8.30. Excellent. Or Thank until, you. Or until the police tells us it's time to go home. <laughs> and uh, for those that don't know, Councilor Rodriguez, before he was elected and since he's been elected, he's really been an advocate for this day. It's a great event. So if you do have the time, please go by. It's a fun time. Councilor Borgard, did you have something? Yes. Thank you, Mr. President. I'd like to take a moment of personal privilege. Absolutely, Councilor. Thank you. Uh, on the weekend of August 5th, 6th, and 7th, the Cosgrove Pool, uh, this is an uh, an event organized by Bill Hogan, a uh, volunteer, active individual in the community, uh, to celebrate 50 years of the Cosgrove Pool. And there will be a dance on Friday evening at, at um, uh, Do Tommy Doyle's, I'm sorry, and uh, also playing a lot of the music that people listened to 50 years ago. And uh, on Saturday, uh, weather permitting, uh, there are going to be several um, swimming activities at the Costco pool. It's all free. They want families to come and enjoy it, people to get together. Uh, he has pictures of the past 50 years and people enjoying themselves at the Costco pool at all ages. And should it uh, rain on Saturday, then it would be held on Sunday. And uh, this can all be seen on Facebook, and you'll be reading about it and seeing it. Uh, this is just a great idea of his to recognize the history of Brockton and uh, some great times that people had over the years at the Cosgrove Pool. So I hope everyone can come out and join us. Thank you for giving us that information, Councilor. Thank you. Any other Councilors? Councilors, for your calendar, since we are in summer schedule, um, I just want to make it known that we will be having a finance committee on Monday night, August 15th, 7 o'clock. 
And then the following Monday night, which will be August 22nd at 8 o'clock, will be our city council meeting for the month of August. So again, August 15th, followed by the next week, August 22nd. Nothing else before us tonight. I wish you all a good evening. Thank you. This meeting's adjourned.